Wouldn't be nice if there was a magic pill for weight loss? What if I told you that this magic pill already exists? Unless weight gain is caused by medical conditions such as Cushing syndrome or Hashimoto's, it can be reversed with a simple five-step program that I outlined in my previous video. However, this process might take weeks or even months, and this could be discouraging. Today, in this video, I will tell you about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and how it can improve insulin sensitivity fast and accelerate weight loss results. Give this video a thumbs up so more people can see it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive more videos every week. In this video, I talk about metabolic syndrome, weight loss, and hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Insulin resistance is the number one reason why we gain weight and why we have difficulty losing weight. Insulin resistance is largely caused by the way we eat, it's caused by overeating, and lack of physical activity. So when we change how we eat and how we move, we start improving insulin sensitivity and we start seeing results in weight loss. However, this process could be slow. And this is because there are other factors that affect insulin sensitivity. Hypoxia, lack of oxygen in cells and tissues, bad night sleep, psychological stress, exposure to environmental toxins. All these factors affect insulin sensitivity. So when we change the way we eat and how we move, we're taking two steps forward, but other factors make us take one step backwards. And that's where hyperbaric oxygen therapy can be extremely helpful. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is administered inside the hyperbaric chamber where we create increased atmospheric pressure. This increased atmospheric pressure initiates many chemical processes in the body and it increases the amount of oxygen available to cells and tissues. There are several ways that hyperbaric treatment can contribute to improved insulin sensitivity. For example, hyperbaric oxygen therapy decreases hormone Cortisol. cortisol is a hormone that we secrete at times of stress and elevated cortisol affects insulin and leads to insulin resistance, which translates to weight gain. So when we decrease cortisol, we improve insulin sensitivity. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy also results in increased secretion of hormone called adiponectin. Adiponectin is a hormone secreted by fat tissue and it promotes weight loss. So the more adiponectin we have, the more weight we lose. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy also decreases hormone called leptin. Leptin is a satiety hormone, but when we eat too much, we become resistant to leptin. So leptin levels go up, but our cells are not sensing that we're full. So when we take hyperbaric oxygen treatments, hormone leptin is being decreased and our cells become more sensitive to its effect. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy also improves health of our mitochondria. Mitochondria are the little powerhouses inside the cell that produce energy, but also have many other functions in the body. When we become insulin resistant, mitochondria become less efficient and less effective, and it can lead to many diseases and it can make us feel really tired. That's why when we insulin resistance, one of the symptoms is feeling tired especially after a meal. When we improve health of our mitochondria, our cells uptake more glucose for energy production, and that leads to improved insulin sensitivity and weight loss. Environmental toxins create a lot of oxidative stress inside our body. This oxidative stress is the reason why we age. It's also the reason why we develop insulin resistance. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy improves internal production of antioxidants. Therefore, it decreases oxidative stress and improves insulin sensitivity. As you can see, there are many ways that hyperbaric oxygen therapy contributes to improved insulin sensitivity, and it does it fast. Studies show that after 
third treatment, we're starting to see results and cells become more sensitive to insulin. And that in turn results in weight loss, decreased risk for many chronic diseases. In my previous video on how to improve insulin sensitivity, I describe all the symptoms that you will see once insulin resistance goes down. Now let's talk how you should use hyperbaric oxygen therapy to see the best results. I think the most important important take-home message from this video is that hyperbaric oxygen therapy is the therapy that is complementary to other things that we do. So when we start eating right, eating less, and eating in a less amount of time every day, and that means intermittent fasting, when we start moving right, when we start incorporating strength exercises, when we take steps to improve our sleep and improve our reaction to stress, when we take supplements and correct nutrient deficiencies. So when we add hyperbaric oxygen therapy on top of that, we just start seeing results a lot faster. It's a magic accelerator that makes all other things work fast. So number one rule, do all your other things to improve insulin sensitivity and add hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Rule number two, in my experience, only continuous hyperbaric treatments give results in terms of insulin sensitivity and weight loss. What I mean is that doing one treatment today and another treatment in a couple of weeks is probably not gonna do much. You need to do several treatments a week. In terms of pressure, in my experience, I've seen great results both with soft chambers that go to 1.3 or 1.5 atmospheres, depending where you are, and hard shell chambers that go up to 2.2 and even 2.4 atmospheres. So depending what you have access to, use hyperbaric chamber. One more tip, you might want to use your hyperbaric chamber in a fasted state. So after an overnight fast, get inside the hyperbaric chamber and you will see amazing results in terms of how hyperbaric oxygen therapy will affect your metabolic health and how it will affect your insulin sensitivity. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have more questions about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and weight loss, please leave your questions in the comment section below. You can also visit my website to learn more about hyperbarics, metabolic syndrome, and weight loss. I'll see you next week. Next week.